Alrighty then, good afternoon once again everyone, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming out to a small more stone hearth, gonna be continuing where we last left off, and apologies once again as always, uh, it has been almost 12 freaking uh, days, so almost two damn weeks uh, since the last episode of this, my consistency definitely leaves much to be desired, so yes, apologies in that regard. Uh, let's go ahead and continue this. Now, a lot of games are actually getting close to their... A lot of alpha games, I should say, slash beta, slash whatever, are getting close to their full release. Uh, Clockwork Empires, for one, is finally getting its uh, full release here quite shortly. And uh, Planet Explorers is not too far behind. So once Clockwork Empires does finally come out of its... Uh, beta stage to full release, I will probably be diving back into that once again with another series, just because then I won't have to worry about losing it two weeks later. <laughs> well, actually, I think it was once a month that it updated, but, you know, especially being that it's a beta at this point, or, well, should have been a beta at this point, typically when it, with a beta, you don't really have to worry as much about save compatibility, but for that, we kind of had, had to, which sucks. So... Hmm. I'm going to move these. I'm going to put a little central square here, I think, today. We're going to make it a different uh, color. I want to make sure there's enough room to fit all the various components here inside of it for, say, the smith. And then I'm going to be putting some stockpiles around here for different components, such as uh, we're going to have some proper... Oh, God, all that rotting food. We're going to put some uh, chests over here to uh, work as storage for all the food items. And we're basically getting rid of our stockpiles. And then we'll have some other chests around here as well. So I need to move everything a little bit. Where do I want to put the standard here? We'll go build and design. Foundations. I'll let them continue here, but uh, let me see. What is the general... So this is a 3x3, three three, and then we have the uh, standard behind it. Do I want to put the standard in the center, get rid of this, and replace it with something else? Let's see. This will all be moved. We have, do have these uh, stone braziers, so... Let's go from the edge here and find somewhere, find a good central position I can put this thing. Also, we have these, and I want to make room in the corners for these, I guess. Hmm. What the heck? Oh, you just gained some health. That's fine. Second, let me... Go ahead and move these out of the way for now, but I'll keep them generally together. Didn't quite want to move that one there, but it'll do. Let's move all the weaver stuff. Move you down here. And I guess I'll move... not you. Move this as well. Alright. Back to design. Let's go ahead and erase. Can I not remove you? Apparently, I cannot remove this. That's unfortunate. Well then. Well then, indeed. Alright, so let's get a uh, foundation here. We'll do a stone foundation. 
Hmm. Should I go with a regal blue? Or some kind of gray? Oh, good! New settler. I'll accept that. Yeah, sure, let's go with the regal blue then. So we have... <coughs> what is that? So it's about a 7x7 seven seven or... Let's just say an 8x8. Eight eight. And give that some additional space on this side. Problem is now I'm going to have to figure out how I exactly want to design this. And I don't really know how I'm going to... Screw around with that. That's a 26 by 26. Alright, let's even it up here for now then. Fuck. I'm trying to move this and it's not letting me. We got goblins. Where are the goblins at? I'd like to place a flag, please. Oh, you piece of crap. <laughs> Let me pause this. Attack move. There we go. They're coming to assist you. Though it may take him a while. Alright. So we have that there. Just about 13, well, maybe 14 squares in between. That's enough space, give or take. Alright, so... Hmm. Should I go with this? Yeah, we'll go with this, I think. Six by six, I guess. And that doesn't leave with any space right here, though. Or should I just do regal blue for the whole thing? Hmm. That's the uh, difficulty with this design. It's like I'm not quite sure if that's the fitting what I'm going for here. Hmm. Well, let's uh, let's place the central flag here. <laughs> so there's no perfect center for this one, though, is there? Not with. Uh... Not with what I'm going for. No, there's not. I'd have to offset it by one at least. Minimum. Alright, so. I think that's about right. Let's see here. I should just drag it and be done with it. So it's 11. And over. What the hell? Uh. No. fuck are you doing, you damn thing? I'd like to drag my... Oh, you piece of crap. <laughs> oh, you're making this difficult for me here. Why are you making this difficult for me? It's like there's no reason to screw around here. 
All right. So, I need 12 on either side. All right. That's in the way. Let's do it like this then. As long as I see if that's 12, we're good. Okay. So. Perfect. Now how big do I want the central square? We'll do nine, nine by nine. Okay, let's erase these now. All right, now we need objects to put here. Now the central flag is going to be taking the dead center point. Surrounded by these here. Okay. Now, what else do I want to place here? Should have some benches, but how am I gonna play? How do I like to place them? That's the question. Okay. Perfect. Don't want to erase the floor. I want to erase the object, you piece of junk. Ugh. How do I delete you? Why do you refuse to be removed from my... Ugh, you frustrating bastard. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about that. So it's just going to be a giant, like, gaping hole here that is stuck for eternity. Got it. Lovely. Actually... Can I drag and move it like I could that? No, I cannot. Ah, that's gonna look much better there. What the? I would like to select the bird bath, please. How many times must I click that before you acknowledge my choice? Caravan approaches, lovely. Alright, that's good enough. The workshops will move as it completes. Alright, that's it. That's good. Can I finish that off now? No? Yes? Maybe? Cough? Um. Well, the caravan's gone. What's wrong with this? I'm assuming we're lacking something. We have enough stone, looks like. We definitely have enough stone. That's it. There was a finalized design button here a while ago. Now I can't seem to locate it, so... Hmm. 
Enter something. No. I give up. <laughs> I give up. At that point, it's like, you know what? To hell with it. To hell with it. I, I can only fuck around with some controls or designs for so long before my frustration just hits the, hits the roof. And I'm like, you know what? Screw it. That cancels out. Undo. Not that that makes much difference. Erase. I don't want to erase anything. I'm ready to go here. All I want is a foundation. I'm just trying to lay a, a plaza here. Come on. Nope. Uh-huh. Oh, well. That is an absolute shame. Shrug. Uh, quest for a township. Have to get a certain net worth and then build that thing. I don't meet the requirements for any of that. We did get a new citizen though, so at least he can get some stuff done. So we have three workers now to help with this. Now what's the problem with this construction here? I mean it's design. Oh there we go. I finally click on the design and it tells me finish editing. I cannot remove that at all. Bloody hell, that sucks. So, what is this missing? So, we have all these templates, but I can't see what this problem is here. Are you just stuck? Like, what's going on here, guys? No, they can go out all they want. They're just choosing to kind of chill in there. Uh, how many... Let me check my citizens here and see how many warriors I have. Because I definitely need more than one. I'll let these guys work for now, though. Let me speed things up. Just because they have a lot of digging and such to do. Also, I should really continue with this. Also, let's put a ladder right here if I can. Let's actually put two ladders. Alright. Is that it? The daily update. I highly, highly doubt we're going to be getting that here. Yeah, I thought as much. Because we literally just got a citizen, so I was like, there's no way. Alright. Got some wolves showing up here now. The heck? I, I, I thought for a second there, he was literally just going to run right through the building. I can't tell what my guy's health's at. I can see that they're getting weakened, but I don't know how my guy's doing. Either way, clearly we need more than uh, one warrior. Clearly. But I'll let them progress here a little bit first. The heck? Oh! Oh, I don't want to tell it I don't want it anymore, so apparently he befriended a raccoon. Interesting. Probably not the best idea, they're feral little buggers. But hey. Alright, let's, uh. Is the blacksmith I want?
No, we do have the vault in the blacksmith, but that's not what I want right now. However, so we need more wood. Actually, we don't really need more wood. What we need is more storage. So, 64 items. So we're going to create six of these. And we're going to properly designate them for use in all of these structures. Let's try placing one of those log piles. Because it says we don't have any logs, but we totally do. So let's try harvesting this. So now they can harvest this log pile. Actually, I could place this log pile along an entire, like, the side of the building or something. It would actually have a nice aesthetic look to it as well. Let's do that. Let's take these other log piles. Well, let's just place them right here. Do I have any more? Fine dining table. Copper ingots. cancel that task. Actually, no, not there. There we go. That's where I want to place it. Lovely. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see if we can place some of these down. place two of them right here and these are going to be purely for raw food. Speaking of which, I don't want to open up that. Crafting. Cooking. Just need the stone oven. Corn meal. We don't have enough corn. We have enough veggies to drown ourselves in. We don't have any eggs for an omelet. Large wheat uh, bundles, which are probably good for officially storing a large amount of wheat. Sure, we'll make, uh, actually we'll make two of those. I can't make three of those. Let's make more than this. Let's make 20. That should keep my cook busy for a while. Now, let me pause here for a second. Okay. Plants. Raw food. Any cooking ingredients will be held elsewhere. Okay. Now. You will hold neither of these. Okay. Next, let's see about moving some of these. Okay, there's that. Let's move all of the weaver stuff. Actually, can I adjust that slightly? Yes, I can. Okay. Please tell me you're not going to make three of these goddamn looms and place them now for no reason when I've told you to move an object. Please tell me. 
Please tell me that's not the case. Like, why can't I just click on this and cancel it? You know, this just adds it to it. Like, I'm trying to move something. Not make a brand new one and slap it down here. What would be the point? I mean, if I had more than yes, I mean, that's just annoying. That is just super annoying. Oh, well. Oh, well. Nothing I can do about that now. It's being dealt with. Looks like she should be making the chests for me. Again, I don't want to place anything on there now, apparently, until it's 100% complete. Because now I have to delete a whole bunch of extra stuff that should not have been there in the first place. Alright, so... Nice, our Mason leveled up. That's good. So I want all of those crafting ingredients in this chest. And then the next one I'm going to gonna place down as well. Alright. The wheat, we'll probably place the wheat somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where, but hey. There we go. Slowly get all that done. Nice. Level 2 cook. Kitchen chemistry. Learn to make slightly fancier recipes. Ooh. Let's see what kind of fancy recipes we can get going here. Oh. Rugged survivalist drops on by. Got some leather I can buy. Some various pelts. These are 20 gold a pop. Sure, let's buy two of them. Just because I can. Don't need much else. We've got the roast pollo, which we don't really have. Peasant bread, we don't have any flour. We haven't captured any of those yet, so we won't need to worry about that. Oh. Let's go ahead and craft 20 flour. Then we can make some bread. Alright, that seems to be in order for the most part here. Now, let's see if we have any more chests that got made. They did. Good. We'll place those two right there. Now, those are going to be for wood. As well as, I think, for... Actually, you know what? Hold up. Let me move this one. Alright, this one is going to be for wood... And furniture. Probably gonna need more than one chest, but hey. We'll produce another one. No, I need you. Here's another six chests. How are we doing over here? One of them's nearly full already for food, which does not shock me at all. Alright, let me actually uh, x-ray this here a bit. Not terrain x-ray. I meant housing x-ray. There we go. How are we doing in here? We don't need to store raw foods in it. Um, no, that's not very good. We will store that. And actually, we'll store... We'll store wealth in one and tools in the other. Alright. Let's place another chest over here. How are we doing on these ones? We're already getting pretty packed. There we go. 
There we go. Oh, that one was almost full, actually. Now, that one, yeah, one chest is full. Luckily, I did get a second one here in place in time. How are we doing in the food department? Pretty good overall. Pretty good. Now, we're having issues with the construction of this one. Like, why? What is the problem? Why aren't you telling me what exactly the issue is? So, we're missing some wood frames and logs. So, logs is the problem. But we have logs sitting right here, unless... I see, I see, I see. I'm a... I'm a damned fool! That's what the problem is. So, I saw all these logs here, and I wondered, well, why the hell haven't they used them? A very good reason for that. Those were items that enemies had dropped, and I had not been able to claim it yet. Let's go ahead and accept a new settler. Um, let's actually go cut down some trees down here. I could harvest the uh, logs I have right here, but no. We're going to go just chop down some trees over here. There we go. That might be a little excessive, to be completely honest. Yeah, let's, uh, let's cancel some of these. No, 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 no. I just want to cancel the tasks. There we go. Those trees can still be chopped down, but we'll leave some of them. We don't want to get too crazy up in here. Excellent. That'll give them something to do for a while here. Lovely. Now we got our shit in action. <laughs> we got our shit together, finally. Okay. How are we doing for... Oh, God. This is a fucking mess. This is an absolute mess. How can I destroy that? I guess there's nothing I can do but to build the damn looms and then just destroy them afterwards. Mm-hmm. That's about it. Get them built up. Everyone's hungry. How are we doing on the food stocks here? Got some squirrel jerky, some vegetable stew. Why are you guys eating raw food when we have cooked food? Weird. So let me take one of these guys. Let's see how we're doing in the job chain here. So I'm going to get you as a trainee warrior here because we do need another warrior. Not crafters, but let me take a look at my... Level 1 blacksmith and a wrench crafted by a blacksmith. Okay. Let's take a look at my tool department here then. For one, I want another blacksmith's hammer. So we'll craft one of those. Let's go to the blacksmith himself. So it requires a level 3 blacksmith in order to unlock this, which is perfectly fine. Now, let's go ahead and... No, 10's not going to do it. Let's craft 9 of those. Seven of those. Uh, we'll probably use some of these too. 
we'll do eight of those. Let's go ahead and get five of these. Basically, we're just crafting a ton of stuff to get his level up so that he can then build the engineer's ranch and also the carpenter's saw here. For whatever reason, I mean, why would a carpenter's saw require a level four blacksmith? We already have one. I mean, you can make that from a cheaper... So I'm thinking that maybe that would be like an advanced carpenter or something. Give them the saw so they can more easily do their job. Devoted. Speed increased by 20. Nice. We're going to need some more wood, though. So let's actually harvest this. With all that we're uh, doing for that. Also, we should plant these trees. Yeah, these are getting placed in here. Uh, whatever. Once this whole thing is completed, then I will do I won't have to worry anymore. Holy crap! It is as I feared. Okay, let's place another one. They used up even faster than I thought they would. Filter. There we go. Keep at her, blacksmith. Come on, you got this. Achieved level four. For a farmer. Let's take a look at the farmer, actually. What's next for you? So from farmer we go to cook. From trapper we go to herder. So we need a level 2 trapper. Where is our trapper? He should be a low. Oh yeah, he's level 3 actually. So let's change him to a shepherd. If we Do we not have a shepherd's crook? No. It's made by the carpenter. We should have a high level carpenter. Oh, nope, requires a level 5 carpenter. We don't have it. Archer's bow. Let's create two of those. Leather bound trunk. Large crate. Oh. Once more, you're into the breach. What are we being chased by? Zombies, apparently. Zombies and a skeleton. Flavius the Forgotten and Esme the Sad. Don't worry, Esme, we'll put you out of your misery. Again, I wish I could see their hearts. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Is that the new one? No, that's my level 3 footman. He's doing pretty good, actually. I'll speed this up. He's got this. Him alone will be in more than enough. So basically, I need to go through all of these. Nice, and we just got level 5 Carpenter. And I need to have them make all of their crafting materials. Okay. And do we have any leather that we can turn into bolts? We do. I could just, of course, manually adjust that, but hey, I probably should, honestly. What is this? Poyo feathers. Oh yes, the daily update. Nope. I figured the net worth would be too low, but we did actually acquire what I wanted, which was the ability to make the shepherd's crook. So we'll have him make that. Now let's also go over to the mason and see what else I might want to craft from him. 
So he makes all of these. Food donation box. Goblin honor tokens. Like, how do I get a food donation box? Huh, it's nothing in here. Might be an engineer thing. A potter. And we got a herbalist. How's the blacksmith doing? Oh, they're going. Iron shield. We have... Iron helmet. Plate helmet, which requires, what, three steel? I thought as much. Not too bad overall. Iron pike. We'll see how they, uh... We'll see if her level goes up any... Just got a level 4 weaver, very nice. Let's see what kind of stuff you can craft here now. Thick leather vests, pretty nice. A couple upgraded worker outfits. Of course, we have the uh, fine quiver here for an archer. If I had the uh, feathers, it'd be nice to be able to upgrade to that. But anyway, since we did get the shepherd, or should have the shepherd's crook made by now, let's see about upgrading you. Nope. Actually, he hasn't made it yet. Set that as a high priority. Speed up time here. Because I really want to get that done. Now, what are we missing here? We have everything we need, it looks like. We don't need any more stone. Hmm. Wonder what the problem is with that one then. Actually, what's the problem with this one? That's weird. Shouldn't be that many bird baths. Also, this thing, I really want to get rid of this, but I can't. That's just, that frustrates me so much that I cannot remove that. So. Do I have additional bird baths placed somewhere? Now they'll place it there properly. Now if only I hadn't included it as something that needed to be put there, that would have been nice, but hey. There we go. Slap that guy dead center. Okay, that's good. Get a couple more bird baths, I guess. Have you craft two of those, if you don't mind. Let's check on our carpenter friend. Looks like he got his job done finally. Fantastic. So let's get our herder and see if we can start raising some uh, chickens to pluck feathers from. You're approved, sir. Now, what do we need for the herbalist? We need the herbalist staff crafted at the carpenter. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock that. Carpenter. Creates healing tonics and bandages. Good, we'll definitely need that. 
Like I'm trying to unlock all the things that we weren't able to do here for a while. Let's see if you've unlocked your potential yet. I actually need to look in here for that. Uh, yes, you have. I actually need two steel ingots, however. Which requires a level 4 blacksmith. I find it... Let's see what the merchant here has. I find it ironic that you require a level 3, apparently. Uh, let me actually check her level quickly before I s say anything. Yeah, she's level 3 blacksmith. You require a level 3 blacksmith in order to make the wrench to upgrade the blacksmith to an engineer. When Oddly enough, you only need a level 1 blacksmith to upgrade him to an engineer. But you need a level 4 blacksmith in order to create the steel required to make the wrench. So that's a bit of a odd situation. I mean, those should maybe be reversed. You should be able to make steel at level 3 and then... Uh, the wrench at level 4 or something similar along those lines. Okay, what else are we missing in that? Yeah, next one's the carpenter's saw. Alright. Overall, morale is good, food is good, shelter is pretty good. Net worth is up there, military strength is good, agriculture is fantastic. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and change somebody to uh, herbalist. Excellent. Let's go ahead and craft a lap. Ooh, a clerk's tomb. Or cleric, I should say. Clerk. Yes, it's a store clerk's tome of knowledge. Alright, so those are all going to be hauled out then. So pretty much we're at the point now where I should be able to outright remove these stockpiles. And then maybe replace them with some different fields. I like how this looks overall. I mean obviously a lot of this has to be destroyed, but hey. Actually no, let's just go like this. So we have enough bird baths. It's just that because the design got fucked up, it'll never be built. Why can I not remove parts of it? You know, it's like, why, if I'm moving one component into a building, why does it suddenly get added to the building's build queue for the initial design completion? Like, it locks down the design when you finish your, uh, well, building the, your actual menu here. So once you're done using this to design your building, it's supposed to lock it down so you then cannot edit that building again. The problem is that you're moving items into the building afterwards counts as adding it to that locked down structure. So if you fuck up in some way, you can't fix it. Which is bullshit. Uh, I'm assuming there might be a way to do it, but I just don't know how. I just do not know how and... I mean, it's really, really frustrating. Like, I imagine this whole thing is going to be fucked up for a while because of that. Which is a real shame. Like, if they placed the one birdbath, then we could remove that one, the other one would get placed, and then the building will be complete. But as it stands, this building will never be complete. Which is lame. Uh, 
I swear to God, I am I am so half tempted just to outright remove the entire thing here. But that would completely, you know, fuck up my, all my work, basically, I'm assuming. God, that's annoying. <laughs> truly, truly is. So I really need that one to become a level 5 so we can get that done. Let's go ahead and place this other bit now. There it is. How are we doing here? No, we're good for that. Oh, I haven't set this up here. Actually, let me alter this. No, no, not metal bars, not metal bars, never mind. Whoops. But yeah, we'll pour potions, tools, and all that kind of stuff in here, that's it. We'll put our extreme valuables in here, trophies, gold, which we have none of. But yeah, let's go ahead and remove these. And I'll put animal goods in here as well. Animal pelts, okay. Now let's place one more because it looks like we're going to need it with the rate that they're pouring stuff into there. Daily update, we should... Oh no, we actually barely... Barely have enough. Sweet. So, I'm pretty sure I have to designate a zone. Let me... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! I gotta designate an animal pasture for my new critter. Or critters. Oh, crap. Let me cancel that then. We'll make that for the Poyos. So we only have two animals in that, really? Alright, whatever. This will be for... They reproduce quickly, can be slaughtered for jerky and pelts. Uh, produce mutton. Let's go with rabbits for now. We can do some adorable little rabbits around here. Alright, so we now have the zones applied and everything's good here. All the big stockpiles have been removed in favor of chests, which are a much more compact and better use of space, to be honest. I still don't know why the hell they're having issues building the, uh, well, building over here. It's like they just kind of gave up on it halfway. <laughs> Uh, then again, this is still an alpha. I'm not surprised at all at all the limitations and issues I'm encountering. I'm sure that, you know, over the next coming months, just like they have over time, things will change, you know, enhancements will be made, and a lot of the things that really irritate and piss me off now will be dealt with. But yeah. Anyway, with that, I wonder how... Where's my shepherd? That's not my shepherd. Where's my shepherd? Shepard! Shepard, where are you, sir? Oh, so we went out and caught a rabbit, I guess. Maybe offered it a carrot or something. And now he's bringing it back to the pasture. Now, I wonder if they will stay in the pasture by themselves or if I need to fence it in properly. It's honestly debatable in that regard. Oh, well. Seems to be taking care of it. I don't want to change the jobs, but I do want to take a look at you. I want to see your character sheet. Job abilities. Level 3. So, basically, level once he reaches level 1, the animals will walk a bit faster. Level 2, the... Animals produce a uh, greater yield of goods. In level 4, animals are more likely to appear whenever the shepherd is looking for them. 
Retired at level 3, so because he retired at level 3, he gains all of these bonuses. Charm Pet. Occasionally choose to turn a particular fine animal into a pet. Different job opportunities. Helps him salvage more from each animal. Oh, he became more efficient at packing in the loot. Oh no, we didn't unlock those ones. Efficient cuts we did, but we didn't unlock these ones. Lace uh, special trapping zones to deter uh, basically any critters that might attack us. Where the hell is it? Holy shit! We have a giant zombie and something that's attacking it. I was actually gonna call this here in a second, but hell no, we're gonna go fight this giant zombie. Blarg, don't touch master's treasure. So he was fighting some other kind of like beast, like large beast that I've never seen before. So I guess we finally reached the forgotten beast stage. Holds loot. We also have these guys over here. Luckily, whatever it was that was attacking it has greatly weakened it. Designated hearth tender. Attack! What? We can't attack the zombie? There we go. Got him. Harvest. Loot the loot. How do I loot the loot? That's the question. So we're gonna go beat down these goblins. I just wanted to be your neighbor. Why? Boom! No goblins. You're not welcome here. It's like, do I need to enter a passcode? Do we need some open sesame or something going on here? I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, it says it needs wood logs. Let's, uh, let's harvest these three and then place three more. Because I have a bunch of them, but I need to harvest those so I can actually get that damn building completed. Hopefully they'll get around to that. Oh, are we full up in here? Uh, looks like we're pretty damn close to it, if not. So, yeah. Let me... Not my crafters. Place down two more chests here. Okay. Filters. Four plants and raw. Plants and raw. And we have a lot of plants. Not to mention I could still harvest all these berry bushes. It's nice that you can move the berry bushes. I mean, dear lord, that's one of the things I would like to see happen in Dwarf Fortress is the ability to actually plant fruit trees or something. Because I would just create just these badass groves if I could. Ah, well. Ah, well. It's like any game, really. There's always a, you know, a long checklist of all the things you would like to see. Alright, let's see. Hopefully they'll uh, get around to actually completing this building now, but something tells me that's not going to be the case. So let's go ahead and save up here. And call this for today. 
Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, definitely have yourselves a great one, and I'll catch you all next time when, uh, well, who knows when the hell that'll be. <laughs> uh, I, do, I truly do apologize for the inconsistency. I do need to get my uh, shit together more, as it were. Ah, uh, well. Anyway, till then, though, guys. Have a great one.